he would have paid 100. Despite the beatings, Muhammad continues to preach and make converts of our pilgrims. How? The answer is simple. It lies in the Quran. What? His so-called revelations? They're nothing more than idle babblings. All due respect, Abu Jahal, Muhammad's revelations are neither idle nor babblings. They are powerful, simple, not of this world. Magic? It's the only reasonable explanation. Well then, we must stop him from using his magic poetry against us. Abu Talib, we have the greatest respect for you. But time and again we have pleaded with you to stop your nephew's preaching. And you have done nothing. He's threatening the peace in Mecca. A few years ago, he brought peace to Mecca. You praise his wisdom then, Abu Jahal. Remember when the Kaaba was being rebuilt? We were about to kill each other for the right to place the black stone. But Muhammad came and... The point is this, Abu Jahal. Stop him, or someone else will. Out! Do you want bloodshed and fighting among Quraysh? Out now! <sighs> you can see my situation, Abu Talib. It's getting more and more difficult to keep the peace. Please, talk with your nephew. For the peace of Mecca, I will talk to him. Mohammed, close the door and come in. Please, sit. Son of my brother, Quraysh demand that you stop your preaching. If you don't, I fear I cannot protect you. I am an old man, Mohammed. I cannot fight these people, my own neighbors, my own tribe. People we have known all our lives. Is what you preach so important, Mohammed, that you and I must die for it? That there must be bloodshed in the city? For the peace of Mecca, stop your preaching. This made Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him, very sad. But he answered, saying, If they put the sun in my right hand, and the moon in my left, I will not stop what I am doing. I will continue until either the word of God prevails, or I perish in the process. Mohammed, say and do what you please. This uncle will never abandon you. Not now, not as long as I live. I say we are Muhammad's clan, and we will stand by him and protect him, no matter what the cost. Why? Why must we become the enemy of Mecca for one man? Because he is our nephew, and because he has done nothing wrong. Ah, the great Hamza speaks. Good thing you're swift with the sword, brother, because Muhammad's forcing you to use it. Girl! I'm not dying for him, just because he says he saw an angel! Muhammad continues to preach, despite all we do to him and his followers. Please stop him before he ruins everything! He's coming. He's praying. Infidel! I won't let you overthrow our gods! Heretic! How dare you walk away!
What is it? Oh, but you all insulted your nephew. He said horrible things in front of the whole city. What did my nephew do? Nothing. He just walked away. <laughs> he tried praying here just this morning, but I drove him away. Hums? Ah! If you want to fight someone, fight me, you coward. How dare you insult Mohammed when I too am of his religion? No. I didn't know you followed Mohammed. I do now. in every word you've spoken. That's why I can say this. There is no God but Allah, and you are his prophet. Punish them! This way! Where are you taking them? and confess the gods or die. Do it. No, no. Do it. Say it, mother. Tell them what they want to hear. Listen to your son, Sumaya. <sighs> Tell me truthfully. Ma, would you deny God and his prophet just to live? <gasps> I... I... And neither will I. There is only one God. And Muhammad is his prophet. Do you mock me? Then no one shall be your last. The first martyrs of Islam. Poor Sumaya. Poor Yasu. Thank God, Amar lives. How is he? The Prophet is doing all he can to ease his pain. But he fears for our lives, and says that those who can should go to Abyssinia. Abyssinia? It's ruled by a Christian king, a kind man, who might allow us to live there. And I've been asked to lead the group, and I'll need some strong men to help me. Go, Malek. You'll be fine. ground to cover before they find out we're gone. They could be in Abyssinia by now. Tell Khalid to take some men and go after them. They must be brought back and punished so all will know that rebellion will not be tolerated in Mecca. <laughs> Is yours. Now bless me for my generosity. Well, excellent work. I understand you know the Abyssinian king. I do, quite well, as a matter of fact. Good. This is for him. 